All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to play Maverick coming into year seven of Rainbow Six Siege. The first thing that we're going to talk about is Maverick's loadout. Now, Maverick has the choice between the AR-15 and the M4. The AR-15 is a DMR with 62 damage and 10 bullets. Uh, personally, I don't think the ammo count is really worth it, but it's up to you. I really like the M4. It is a great gun. It has a good amount of damage, a good amount of fire rate, and 30 bullets. Uh, so overall, this is a really, really good weapon. I personally play this every single time. He has the 1911 Tac Ops, which is just a really good pistol, good capacity, good damage, good fire rate. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the guns. Going into a secondary gadget, he has frag grenades or claymore. I've seen Maverick players bring claymore, and I don't really understand why. You always want to bring frag grenades, um, which I'll actually talk about later in a shot on how to open a wall. But frag grenades are, if you use them correctly, two free kills or two gadgets that you can destroy. And if you really are worried about your flank enough to bring a claymore, you can just put some drones down and have your teammates watch those drones. On the M4, I run the 1.5 scope with the flash hider and vertical grip. Uh, before they nerfed the angled grip, I would have run angled grip and muzzle brake, but now that they nerfed it, I'm running vertical grip and flash hider. This is mainly just to control that vertical recoil that would be very prominent if I had angled grip, as you can see in the change of pattern here. But with vertical grip, I run flash hider. This is just to control the X recoil. Flash hider does, you know, on an average level compared to compensator. It also hides the flash, but yeah, flash hider is just really good if you don't really have much recoil to control. You don't really know what to put on. Um, just pick flash hider. Also, extended barrel is not a bad choice either. Uh, so if you want to put that on, get that extra damage, then you can go ahead and do that. So, okay, I brought us into a tea hunt right now. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to open up a reinforced wall in the most efficient way as possible as Maverick. So the first thing that you need to know is that there's two ways to open a wall. The first way is with his blowtorch, you draw a line at the top of the wall and you draw a line at the bottom of the wall. And what this does is essentially takes the reinforcement off of the wall so that you can get your soft breacher to then open the wall, right? Your, your Buck players, your Ash players, your Sophia players, they can open up the wall once you've taken off the reinforcement off of it, right? The second way you use Maverick is you get your blowtorch and you blowtorch the bottom part of it. And then you shoot any, you know, bandits or kids that are at the bottom of the wall once you're able to see on the other side. And then your hard breacher comes in and destroys the wall. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there is a third way to open up the wall, and that's to put a circle with your blowtorch in the top of the hole, and then you're going to throw a grenade through, and that is going to take out the bandits on the other side, and then you get your thermite, base, whatever, to come hard breach the wall. So, with that being said, I'm going to show you all three of those right now. The first one is known as Maverick Tricking. You essentially put a line at the very top, and you're going to put a line at the very bottom. Uh, I didn't do that the most efficient way possible, but you get what I mean. Now, why is the reinforcement still on the wall? The reason the reinforcement still on the wall is because the way that reinforcement works is that there are metal beams that run on the top and the bottom of the reinforcement. And it's the same right here as well. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your blowtorch takes out those metal beams. You can see them right here. This metal beam runs all the way up and down. So what you have to do is get your blowtorch and break it. It makes an audible sound, right? And then you go to this side, you do the same thing. You go to the bottom, and then boom, the reinforcement's off the wall. You can get a soft breach to come in, explode the wall, whatever. And yeah, that's Maverick Trigger. Okay, so the second strat is you're gonna put a Maverick line on the very bottom of this wall so that if there are any bandit charges, any Cade Claws, any Mute Jammers that are on the other side of this wall preventing your Thermite from opening it, you can then just shoot it or grenade it or have one of your teammates shoot it or grenade it. And it'll essentially make this wall free to open by any of your hard breachers that are waiting for you to open the wall for them. So what you do is you sit on one of the sides of the walls here. You don't sit in the middle like this because if you open the wall, they can sit here and shoot your feet, right? So you sit on the side of the wall and this goes for the first strat too, um, but you sit on the side of the wall, and you do this. So I just drew a line without exposing myself, 
And now I'm able to shoot any bandits or mutes on the other side of this wall. Let's say that that ammo is a mute jammer, right? Bam, bam, bam. I shoot it. I stand up. Our thermite player gets the wall right here. Now, watch out if you're a thermite player because they can still shoot your feet here. So what you'd want to do, let's pretend that this wall is outside, right? Is you'd repel up and you'd go upside down on this wall and you'd place the thermite charge and then you'd be able to open the wall. And just to kind of show you what I mean, pretend I'm a thermite and my maverick just open the bottom of this wall like this. What I'd want to do, instead of sitting right here where my feet can get shot and putting the thermite on the wall, I'd repel up and then I'd go upside down on the repel and I'd put my thermite on the wall like this. That way my feet's not exposed and I can still get the wall open. Now the third strat, and my personal favorite to do on Maverick, is let's say that you have a wall here. What you're going to do is you're going to draw a circle like this. Which doesn't take a lot of your mouth fuel. It only takes like not even a full canister. And what you do is let's say they have Jaeger ADSs or my discs on the other side of this wall. You're going to get anybody with flash grenades or smoke grenades to throw their grenades through that hole. That's going to make it to where when you throw your frag grenades, they don't get caught by any defender utility or any anti-grenade utility. So let's say my thermite just threw flash grenades in here to burn the ADS. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here with a grenade. I'm going to cook it and I'm going to bounce it off the roof. And that grenade is going to land right on the bottom of this wall. So let me show that to you again. I had my grenade. I cooked it. I bounced it off of this roof right here so that it would go straight down to right here. So not only does that destroy any bandit charges that may be sitting on the bottom line of this wall, but if anybody's bandit tricking, right, they're sitting here and they're waiting for you to place your thermite charge down so that they can then put their bandit on the wall. You can kill anybody doing that with this grenade strat. So this is really, really good. Doesn't take much mad fuel at all, which is why it's good if you're trying to conserve your mad fuel for, let's say, another wall, maybe some hatches. This is a really good strat. All right, another half of what you can do with Maverick is getting hatches open. Now, this is a clip of me on Consulate because the terrorist in the game that I was in would not reinforce hatches for whatever reason. Uh, so I'm showing you here in this clip. What you see me doing is whenever you go on top of a hatch with Maverick, you want to outline the very edges of that hatch and then that itself will break the hatch. Uh, you have to be careful on where you stand though as they can still see you from the other side of the hatch. Um, but if you want to do this the most efficiently, just go around the edges, and then if you go around the edges and it still doesn't break, just go a little bit in the center like I did, and you should be fine. With all of that being said, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, Maverick is a pretty straightforward character with what you do to him, so I didn't really feel like explaining his role and where he should play and how he plays in relation to his other teammates. All you do is you help your supports open the wall or you get hatches. Those are the two sides to playing Maverick. I'm going to try to do another attacker operator guide at some point during this week. Um, I don't know. That depends on when the new season comes out. But stay tuned for any of that. Again, I upload every Tuesday and Friday. I also am starting to stream almost every single day on Twitch. Link is in the description. I'm uploading daily on TikTok and Instagram. Also YouTube Shorts. Links are in the description for that too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike the video, dislike it. And I'll see you in the next one.